sutures or stitches have been in use for over 4,000 years. So it makes sense. We might still think they're what doctors use to close a wound. But now doctors in Europe are starting to use a special combination of glue and mesh tape for certain procedures. To get a better idea of how it works, Scientific American's Larry Greenmeyer got a liquid adhesive demo from Oop Van Narang, a director of marketing at Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson. So the first thing Upfen does is make an incision in a skin simulator and then puffs it out to create a gaping hole that needs to be closed. And instead of sewing the skin together with sutures, a surgeon can literally tape up a wound with a special sticky mesh. But then to really seal it, the surgeon needs to apply the liquid adhesive. You take that adhesive and you literally paint it on onto the mesh. And in about 30 seconds, this liquid will turn into a polymer and will have sufficient strength to hold that wound edge together till your skin underneath completely heals, heals to a point that it starts to, as it naturally does, starts to slough off. And as it sloughs, uh, sloughs off, this mesh and adhesive also starts to come, come off and you're completely healed underneath. Now this is not something that's available right now to most people. When it does become available eventually, how might, what would be the reason why a doctor would use this as opposed to uh, sutures? I mean, how are they gonna in the future decide which type of uh, closure they use? So if you think about it, and I'll, uh, I'll use an example, so this was a plastic surgery procedure, uh, let's say abdominal, uh, abdominal closure, abdominal plasty, 30, 40, 50, even 60 centimeters of incision. So if they have to spend time in subcuticular suturing to get that skin closed, they'll probably spend anywhere from 30 minutes to about an hour just to close that incision. If they use a technology like this, they'll be able to do that in five minutes. So they'll be able to, in a, in a very long procedure where there's fatigue for the surgeon, there's OR time, the longer the patient stays in an OR, the higher the risk of infection for the patient, longer they had, the patient has to be under anesthesia. These are not all very good things. So if you can reduce the OR time, you can not only reduce the cost, but you also give that ease and, uh, and ability for the, for the surgeon uh, to get that wound closure relatively quickly. So how's it doing? Are we ready yet to uh, oh. pump it up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, just to uh, you know, make an assessment of how good a wound closure we got, uh, here's a gauge uh, which tells you the pressure that I'm applying underneath that incision um, in millimeters of mercury. And as I do that, uh, just to give a reference point, uh, if you're reaching about 100 to 150 um, millimeters of mercury of pressure, it's enough pressure in an abdominal region for somebody who is jumping and cuffing at the same time. So somebody who's gone out of surgery, you don't expect that, that they will be jumping around and cuffing at the same time. But if they do, uh, this closure uh, demonstrates that it can withstand that kind of uh, pressures, if you may. Thank you very much.